Community coming together one year after a crash that took the lives of five people in Peoria, including three young children. ABC 15's Ashley Holden has been covering the aftermath for months tonight. How family and friends found support in unexpected places. The holidays are very hard, especially the few days leading into the holidays. Sarah Harbecky says it's hard to describe the first year without her niece, little Evie, and Evie's dad, Jace Hochstetler. I just got to remember all the good times that we had. Last November, the two were in a car with Jace's new fiance, Elizabeth Simpson. Friends say riding along her three kids, Harley, Cash, and Cruz. The night that it happened... Um, they were out of Friendsgiving. Police say Elizabeth was turning on to 107th Avenue in Peoria when her car was hit by another car. They were pushed down the street into the park. The teen driver in that other car survived, but inside Elizabeth's car, five people were killed. The only survivor, her youngest Cruz. I'll never forget that day. I was, I saw the news come on. Just a few minutes later, it was my family that called. And it was my family that was on the news. And it's never been the same since. Sarah's sister, Evie's mom, losing a child. Over four months after the crash, Peoria police arrested the 17-year-old driver, saying they believe he was speeding and impaired at the time of the crash. You're still in shock every day. You know, you're going to remember them every single day. That's what family and friends did one year later, holding a vigil near the crash site. The family says also showing up first responders. The fact that Peoria first responders showed up, it just, it warmed my heart. For them to come back out and show their support, um, it just meant the world to us. A special bench marker was recently placed at the cemetery for Evie. Family now raising funds, hoping to pay for Jace's ashes to be placed inside. Having Jason and Evie together like that for eternity in my heart is where they belong together. Please tell me the case is still moving through the courts and the teen driver still in custody. All we can do from here is just wait it out. Um, let the court bring justice to our lives. Leaning on each other, hoping one day to find some closure. In Peoria, Ashley Holden, ABC 15, Arizona.